Hey, this is John and Andrea at Happy White Bakers, and today we're going to put together a chicken coop. We're going to put together, from our good friends at Ava Tubin, this little mini coop. It is the AIR31. What's it good for? Well, it's good for broody hens, quarantine some chickens when they get sick. Two to three chickens that you just, that's all you have chickens. It comes in two boxes and uh, one is 50 pounds and the other one's 46. It should be easy to put together and we're gonna show you how it's all done and kind of time ourselves. So to put this together, you need a screwdriver, maybe a drill, two people and an hour. See there, one, two, three, four, they lay it all out for you. Good big pictures uh -huh. with what the part is, the panels, what all needs to be put together. So you got the first two pieces, A and B, right? A and B. Now, so this is really nice. They mark on the sides what A is, and B has a B mark on it. So, so those two pieces went together with dowels. So they, yes, they had, I can pull it apart because they're in their permit. Mm -hmm. So the dowels go in the holes and then you put three screws in, which they've already pre-drilled for you. All right, so let's take care of that. Oh. And all the hardware is nicely marked with P1, P2, P3. You're not guessing which screw is this right leg. So get this lined up. And there we go. Next step is D and E, put so, them together the same way. Um, now, what's nice is, if you turn one of these around, the dowels don't line up. So if the dowels line up, you know you did it right. Okay, so we made the two sides, and now we take panels G and H, and one of these sides is taller than the other. And so they just go in and connect like that. We're gonna have to do that off camera because there's no way that I can hold, screw, and you can film. All right, so we're getting there, look at this. Well, it seems a bit incomplete yet. And we can continue on? Yes, let's go. The next step was to put in these roost bars. They just fall in the hole there That's and slide in the poop tray. The next step is to put the ramp on, but they don't drill holes here so i drilled holes and i know from doing the last time i want this as far over as possible and i'll tell you why in just a minute so i'm just going to screw these in real quick so the reason this is up against this wall is because i'm going to make a mod and the reason is when we go to move this and we go to lift the ramp is just going to stay down well, i want the ramp to come up when i lift it so i've just got a piece of board I'm going to put it up under here and I'm going to screw it to over here so when I lift everything comes up. But that board is in and now when I lift it I don't have to worry about getting the ramp caught on the grass when I move this. Because you will end up moving it eventually. Yes. Now we're on step nine. The next step is real easy. You're going to take panel I and put the dowels in the holes and there's six screws, three on each side, P2s. So we're done with that side for now. We're gonna to come to the nest box side and we're gonna put in these two panels. It's a step 10. And we've got panels N and O. I only get one screw, which is right here right now in this step. So step 11, we use these two little pieces here and they're gonna go and connect down here near the bottom. So right, right along in here, one on each side it is not a drilled piece, so you will have to drill it yourself. I am going to use a small drill bit just to make a pilot hole. I'm going to set this on here. I'm going to make two marks with a sharpie. And I'm going to use a small drill and an electric screwdriver. I don't have to go very deep. All drilled in. Now let's do the other side. Step 12, I'm just going to put this back on. And you want to make sure that this groove right here is on the top. That's where the nest box dividers go in. Plus, you'll know because you have a latch on the side. 
four P4 screws, two on each side. This is step 13. You're going to drop in the bottom of the nest boxes, but very important here, the groove pieces, put that in first. Make sure that's in the back. And then it'll just drop, push down. Step 14 is also easy. But make sure you have it like this with the shorter section at the top and the longer section at the bottom. Okay, this is the divider for the nest boxes. It just slides in. And you have to get it right and push it down. This is step 15. This is the lid to the nest boxes. And before you put any screws in, you want to latch this down below here before you start drilling and putting screws in at the top. There are no pre-drilled holes, so suggest a little pilot hole before you put screws in. And it has this to keep it open while you collect eggs. Now, Andrea had a nice suggestion. She'll probably want me to put a hook and eye down here. So it opens it all the way up. Sometimes you want that all the way. Yeah, you just can't get no, your no, head. Just like, <laughs> get out of the way. I think a hook and eye is a wonderful thing to put right there. Next step is number 16. We're working with part S, and that's one of the major pieces of the roof. You can see the hinges down here at the bottom that yep. will attach, so the, this can come up. This is the low side. This is the high side. Now, I'm going to try to put this down. I got it. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to drop it. So this has an overhang because there's a... We'll go over the other piece. So before you start putting screws on hinges over there, go ahead and put the other piece up there. And then we just sort of centered it from side to side and make sure this part is pushed down all the way. Just kind of do a dry fit, get it lined up. Then you're going to screw in the hinges, which are right there and right there. At step 17, we have a hinge that holds the lid open. So the technique here, first I put these two screws in. Then we're going to lower it. Then we're going to go underneath. I'm going to bring that up and then I'll make some marks with my Sharpie. And that's where I'll screw it in. So now that's on, you can lift the lid. Pull that piece forward and it will lock in place. Isn't that beautiful? So now we're going to put the top on the other side and line it with that one. But before you screw this in, you got to make sure it's lined up with that one. Both sides are lined up. Make sure it's straight this way. Make sure it's lined up back there. And then put four screws in. And that is the end of step 17. So the next step is to put this door pull on. And that's going to go through that little hole. Uh, and then it's going to attach to the door on the other side. So it will slide your door open and close without you having to reach in. But to do that, you've got to take these two pieces apart. There's a tiny little nut and bolt. So we'll take that apart. Sometimes those parts get lost. We just put a pop rivet in. You attach these two screws to your door, and when you pull on that handle, it will pull your door open push your door closed. So that's on. There were pre-drilled holes for the screws. You can pull it out. Ta-da! And it opens and then this hangs. This was kind of hard to put in. Well, it's hard to put in because I'm a big dude and getting my shoulders through there and trying to balance while I'm putting two screws in. The first opportunity where all these walls are together and you can put that on, go ahead and put it on. The next step is this letter U, and it's a rain drip guard. I'm just going to fit it into place and drive some screws through there. So the next step is attaching these spring latches. So there's no receiver, it just holds the door closed right there. So I'm just going to pick a good spot for it, put screws in, and and those are on. Back. And this comes forward. There's no door pulls, right? Nope, there's no door pulls. So you could add that if that's what you want. And this one just opens. 
Look. It says finish. I think we're finished. Well, I would hope so. I don't have any parts left. So now that we're all done, we can take a tour. So the front of it does come to your belly. It's kind of tall. So let's talk about all the access panels. Well, the one you didn't see is this. It's got a different kind of hinge altogether. So it opens this way. Roof. So you can access in here. Okay. And then I can open this door up and let them out. And then I can get into this one. And then there's one way in the bottom. The nest box. Come in, grab your eggs. Oh, delicious farm fresh eggs. I like but it. I think it'll work great for our broody hens, which we have a lot of every year. So that was installation of the Ava Tube and AIR31. So we're gonna make another video on just the features of this and putting some chickens in there, see how they like it. We like this. I think it's it's built well. It has a lot of good features, a lot of access panels. Uh, it's not a huge coop, but you know, for two or three chickens, I, I think it'll do you well. And for my birdie chickens, I think it's gonna do wonderful. I think we can move it around pretty easy too. You wanna grab one in? I'm oh. grab it up here. Oh, yeah, that's not bad at all. Well. Yep, so it's not that heavy. Well, thanks for watching. If you get one, I hope what we did helps you put yours together. If you did get one, tell us how you like it. Enjoy your chickens, and we will see you soon on the homestead. Bye, Bye everyone.